Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. I am so glad you joined me here as we are, um, I'm right now in Micanopy. 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 Yeah, that's the word. Uh, it's an Indian name and it's up here in uh, Gainesville, spending some time up here with the family. So I just finished a bike ride and I thought, well, let's uh, kick off another episode here. Um, I wanted to spend three episodes as we start 2022 uh, with, and it's called starting 2022 on on the right foot. Okay, so you can look at years past and you can go, oh, that was a good year for me. And other years you can go, well, that was a bad year because you know all this stuff happened. Um, we had uh, the housing crisis um, and um, different things happen. But you might have had a good year last year. You might have had a good year of 2021. My year was pretty good. The business went well. Uh, ministry went well. Um, there was no overseas ministries. That was bad. Um, but then uh, my son got married. All kinds of things like that. So um, anyway, uh, but 2022 is, uh, we're starting off a new year um, here. And I wanted to give you three um, ideas here to help you in your 2022. Uh, so that you could have a good 2022. And these are um, three principles that... Would help you with with anything um, and you know you're not going to get rich off these principles and all that stuff but you're going to draw closer to God which is the biggest uh, thing the biggest thing we should be focused on in 2022 so um, the first one I want to focus on today is Bible reading and all of these are taken from 2nd Timothy 3 10 through 4 through 8 okay chapter 3 verse 10 all the way through chapter 4 verse 8 and so I'm going to read that today um, so you can follow along with me here um, chapter 3 verse 10 all right so if you have your Bibles well, like I do uh, you can follow along and your spectacles here all right it says this you however know all about my teaching and my way of life my purpose faith patience love and endurance persecutions and sufferings what kinds of things happened to me in Antioch Iconium and Lystra, the persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from them all. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil evildoers and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, you can look at that and you can say, uh, that is happening in our day, okay? Realistically, if you're a Christian, there's a good chance you're going to be persecuted. Maybe not in the United States, but... Uh, it's getting to be a better chance all the time that you're going to be persecuted in the United States, okay? Um, but definitely around the world, uh, you know, they're coming after you, okay? And you're going to, you have people also that um, they're going to call good bad and, and, um, and the bad good, okay? And that's what's happening right now if you look around, okay? So, but it says this in verse 14, but as for you... Continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Okay? And he's saying here, you've, you know the Scriptures from infancy. All right? Hopefully you've, you've been involved in, in uh, Bible reading since you were able to read, but if you're not, then now's a good time to start. And even if you were... It's always good um, to be in the Bible, all right? Verse 16, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and in training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work, okay? It, the bottom line there is if you want to be equipped uh, to do ministry, you got to be in the Word, okay? And so... Um, verse chapter 4, in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared. I turn the page here. In season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth, truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, endure hardships, do the work of an evangelism, evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry. 
For I am ready to be poured out like a drink offering, and the time of my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but to also to all who have belonged for his appearing. Okay? Some things here. We need to be prepared for ministry in season and out of season. If we're going to be prepared for that, we have to be in the Bible and reading the Bible and be familiar with the Bible. Okay? It can't, it, you can't um, go, oh, uh, you've been asked to, to share your testimony or uh, share a devotional. And you go, oh, no, I've, I haven't read the Bible in two years. What am I going to do? You need to be uh, prepared at any time. Okay? Because there's going to come times where someone's going to ask you out of the blue, hey, why do you believe what you do? Why are you a Christian? And you need to be prepared and be in the Word. So, and then it also talks in chapter uh, 3, verse 16, it says, um, all scripture is God-breathed, you know, and is useful for correcting and teaching and, and rebuking and so forth. In order to be able to use the scripture, you need to know the scripture. So my encouragement for you for this year is this. Simply read the Bible, okay? Just read the book. That's, that's what you need to do. Start off with that, okay? A challenge I have for you is to try and read the Bible in a year, okay? There's different reading plans, and if you want a good reading plan, you can contact me, email me, or, or message me, or whatever, and I can point you in the right direction. Uh, a Bible reading plan that I like, it's, um, I think it's Table Talk that, that put that one out. And I like it because you read a little bit of the Old Testament and a little bit of the New Testament each day, and by the end of the year, you're all the way through the Old and the New Testament, okay? But there's many different Bible reading plans. If you want to read just the New Testament th this year, that's fine. Read the New Testament. But just read something um, and be familiar with the Bible. So we can't be familiar with the Bible if we're not reading it. So I encourage you, set aside time. You know, it's going to take time each day. Set aside time uh, to, to do that. Give up something. Give up, you know, watching the news in the morning or give up watching, um, you know, the latest TV show at night. Take a 15 minutes, a half an hour, and spend time reading the Bible. That would be what I would encourage you. Um, that's the first step. If you want to have a, a good 2022, start with Bible reading. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through 2022. <laughs> Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.